giant television proudly presents Fee Fi Fo Yum. Busy, busy. Studio's finished. What next? A showbiz star. Alas. Welcome to Family Fun for You with me, Les Dennis. Where are you? You're oh, you can't grab me. I'm a game oh, show. Ah. Next, you munchies. Yum, yum. What are you doing? What are you doing? You can't eat it! I can. Watch me. Now, it's Fee Fi Fo Yum! And today's contestants, all the way from London, it's the Shepherd Bush Smoothie. And they'll be playing against the Highgate Hot Dogs. Also from London, here's a taste of the thrills and spills that stand between them and their freedom! The show where the team that's not the winner will be Brian Skinner. Yeah. That's right, we've got two great teams of humunchies ready to do battle because their freedom is at stake. And here's the giant who loves his steak, it's Brian! <laughs> Excuse me, Brian, I don't really like to ask, but why have you got a bucket on your head? I don't want to talk about it, Des. Well, perhaps you should take it off, cos we're about to meet the teams. OK, but I'm not looking my best. <clears throat> whoa, whoa! No, no, Brian, honestly, you look spot on. Oh, sorry. Awkward. All right, let's get on and meet the teams. First of all, we meet the Shepherd's Bush Smoothies. <laughs> How are you doing? Very good. Introduce us to your team. Um, this is Jerome. Hi, Les. Hi, Jerome. Abigail. Hi, Les. Hi, Abigail. Frida. Hi, Les. Hi, Frida. And Injesh. Hi, Les. Hi, Injesh. Frida, that's nearly freedom, but not quite. Do you reckon you'll get your freedom today? Yes. <laughs> and why do you call yourself the smoothies? Because we're full of goodness and we won't be eaten by Brian. Oh, you hear that, Brian? That's the Shepherd's Bush smoothies. Yes. Let's go and meet the High Gate Hot Dogs. <laughs> Introduce us to the hot dogs. This is Alfie. Hi, Les. Hi, Alfie. Clara. Hi, Les. Hi, Clara. This is Andrew. Hi, Les. Hi, Andrew. And that's Shara. Hi, Les. Hi, Shara. Emma, tell me, why do you call yourselves the hot dogs? Because we're hot and we're going to burn it up today. OK, that's the smoothies and the hot dogs. That's the tea. <laughs> This is how we play B Fi Fo Yum. Teams, you will compete in a series of games in order to earn time. The more time you earn, the better your chance of winning the great escape at the end of the show. Is that clear, teams? Yes! yes! So let's get on with it, it and play the first game. Now, Brian, once a month, usually on a Friday, likes to have a chow mein from his local takeaway. The problem is, he hates peas. Here, Brian, on me head. Yes! Great spot! I mean, shot! So your job, teams, in this game is to take the peas out of the chow mein and put them onto the plates that Brian has provided with the chopsticks. The team that takes the most peas out will win the first five-second lifeline, but more importantly, that chow mein will take Brian's mind off eating you for a while. So, Brian, who's pos pa pa participating? <laughs> <laughs> I like the look of Jerome and Frida. Bit of salt and pepper, and you'll be delicious. And I want Emma and Andrew. Yummy, yummy. Brian's made his choice. Teams, let's play. <laughs> chop, chop. OK, teams, you have until Brian's egg timer runs out to hit the spot, sorry, Brian, with those peas. Good luck, Brian, over to you. Three, two, one, chop, chop. And that's it, you're off. As many peas out of the container and onto the plate as you possibly can. Get the peas out. Remember, a pea on the table and you're in trouble. Oh, both gloves. 
both teams going for it at the same time. Oh, yes, it looks... Yes! Oh, no! But the hot dogs had the first pee on a plate. You peed on the table. <laughs> oh, yes! They are working as a team together. Oh, 20 just seconds. Just need to keep together with those chopsticks. Give those peas a chance. They are! Stop faffing about with those Doing chopsticks. Join your teams and let's see. So the Shepherd's Bush smoothie's got two peas on a plate. Nice one. Which is good. But the Highgate hot dog's got three peas <laughs> on a plate. <laughs> which means you get the first five second lifeline. But it's still all to play for. We're gonna take a break here on like D5 Pro Young. Join us after this. I'm gonna take a pee. You are watching Giant Television. <laughs> Covered in great big pus filled zits? Fed up with people saying that your face looks like a pizza? Well, worry no more, as help is at hand in the shape of the Waste Not What Not Zit Blitzer. Its unique pincer clamping action means those zits simply don't stand a chance. There now, doesn't that feel better? And if you buy now, we'll throw in a free Waste Not What Not Mirror Scraper. Just look at all that lovely pus. Why not try spreading it on a piece of toast as a light snack? The Waste Not What Not Zit Blitzer, yours for just 75 grots. Now that's one tasty deal. Hello, Waste Not What Not. Oh, Mum. Oh, sorry. Uh, wrong speed dial. Uh, yes, uh, I love you too, Mumsy Wumsy. <laughs> Got to go. <sighs> Hello, waste not, one not. Uh, I'd like to order a zip blitzer, please. Express delivery, yes. It, it's an emergency. Welcome back to P5 Fo Young. We're at the end of the first game. The Highgate Hot Dogs got a five second lead. The seconds for smoothies, but there's plenty of time up for grabs. And what does time mean? Three. Yes! This is Brian's favourite part of the show. Yeah. OK, Brian, would you like to introduce it? It's Les's Tasty Challenge. It's Des's Tasty Challenge! No, no, I mean, you, you were right, I was... Uh, it's Les... <laughs> Too late, gotcha, Des. Oh. <laughs> Des's Tasty Challenge! Abigail, if Brian doesn't want spots, he should think about washing his face once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> I was just saying to Abigail that working with you makes me smile. Ah, me too, Des. Good. Well, does that mean you might think about letting me off doing Les's Tasty Challenge today? No. <laughs> <laughs> OK, then. So, what culinary delight has Brian put under this dish? Your job, teams, is to guess how much of this, by the spoonful, I can eat in 30 seconds. So, let's reveal the meal. Spotted dick. Brian, Yum. you haven't really thought this one through, have you? Right, teams, write down your guesses. Keep them to yourselves. Brian, I quite like spotted dick. You know, it's one of my favourite puddings, but looking at it, I mean, it looks more spotted Brian than spotted dick, so it doesn't look very appetising. I hope that's custard on it as well. OK, teams, out of your huddles. You should have thought of your guesses now. Have them written down, but don't show them. Can I have my spotlight? Oh, sorry, Brian, I didn't mean your... I mean spotlight, please. Thank you. Dead, please. OK, I have 30 seconds to eat as much spotted dick as possible, starting now. <laughs> Twenty seconds. 
You've started, so you're finished. Mm. All gone. Well, nearly all gone. Um. So, teams, what were your guesses? Smoothies, what did you guess? We guessed four. And what about you, the hot dogs? We guessed seven. Seven. Oh. How many mouthfuls did I eat? <clears throat> Des, you have eaten nine mouthfuls of spotted dick and custard. Nine! So, that means the Highgate hot dogs are the nearest with seven. They get a five-second lifeline. Well done. Well done. We're going to take a break. One of our team of few munchies will end up in Brian's tub, and all the spotted dick has ended up in mine. See you soon. <laughs> When you're in a hurry and you're going to be late It's time to get some breakfast served up quickly on your plate So when you're in a hurry with the ground belly song Grab Humanchi Crunchy and the job is done New Humanchi Crunchy is packed with the hearty goodness of thousands of Humanchis Lightly toasted until golden brown and glazed in honey for that extra crunch Humanchi Crunchy Make sure breakfast is fun Grab you, Munchy Crunchy, and the job is done! Thank you! <gasps> My very own Zip Blitzer! Ooh. Welcome back to Fee Fi Fo Young, where the Highgate Hot Dogs have a 10 0 lead over the Shepherd's Bush Smoothies! <laughs> There's still plenty of time up for grabs as we play our next game. Now, Brian gets a little bit lonely up there in Giant Land. Aw, say aw for Brian. Aww. Aww. Yeah. Aww. So, to keep him company, he likes to make himself little buddies made out of spuddies. <laughs> I won't lie to you, Giants are a bit weird. <laughs> so, Brian, ready to play? No, 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 not now, Brian. We're about to play Chip off the old block. Oh, sorry, Des. Hold on a sec. <clears throat> Here he is. So, uh, Brian, what's his name today? Let me think. Um, Bob? How did you know that? It's just a wild guess. <laughs> OK, teams, say hello, Bob. Hello, Bob! Hello, everybody! Genius. <laughs> so, teams, all of Bob's bits are in the blancmange. Your job is to get them out and recreate Bob. The first team to do so will win the five-second lifeline. So, Brian. Who's going into the bowl? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I think you should have a go. Indigestion. I mean, indigestion. Mmm. You'd make a tasty starter. And I'll have Alfie. Yum. Who will be making Bob? I'll have. You, Annabelle, and Abby. Hmm. And I'm gonna pick Clara and Shark. I'm gonna scoff you down in one. Brian's made his choice. Teams, let's play. Chip off the old block. Injesh and Alfie, you will die for the bits. You will pass them to Annabelle and Clara, who will then pass them on to Abigail and Sharuk, who will make the bobs. Good luck. Goggles on. Three, two, one, die! And the boys are into the blamange and looking for the bits. Out comes a mouth for the smoothies. Out comes an eye for the hot dogs. So remember, you've got to make Bob's identical twin. Exactly like Brian's Bob, you won't win. <laughs> he has to be Bob on. Spot on. Oops, sorry, Brian. It looks like the. It looks like the smoothies have got an ear and an eye and a hat. And there's a nose, they're going very quickly and a mouth. And over here with the hot dogs. I don't know what they've got. 
smoothies are flying into the lead. No, you haven't quite finished. Annabelle thought they'd finished, but you haven't yet. That's it, you put an arm on and another arm. Wow! I don't think I've seen a team play as quickly as this before. Shepherd's Bush Smoothies. The Shepherd's Bush Smoothies reckon they have a completed bomb. Brian, is that Bob's identical twin? Yes, that's Bob. Well done. That is a FIFA Young record for making Bob. That means the five-second lifeline in this round goes to the Shepherd's Bush Smoothies. <laughs> I get hot dogs. I'm afraid you were well off, though you did get Bob's spotty nose, just like Brian's. Sorry, Brian. Time for us to take a break. Teams, watch the ads on GTV very carefully because I will be quizzing you on them. And you lot at home can play along too. Not that your life depends on it. <laughs> One of these teams is going to go. <laughs> If a sore throat is preventing you from hitting those high notes, you need the all new and improved. Simply hold the Medi Mallet at a 45 degree angle. That's more like 34 degrees? Yeah, I'd say that's more like 55. Yeah, that's about right. And now, apply firmly to the head. <laughs> There's that high note. The Medi Mallet won't cure your sore throat, but it'll sure take your mind off it. Medi Mallet! If symptoms persist, don't blame us. Hey, Mr. Giant. Nice day, isn't it? What's the matter? Come on, take your hands away. And the other one. Now both at the same time. Whoa! That's one hairy schnozzer, you big hairy freak show. <laughs> oh, but don't be sad, because help is at hand in the shape of the waste not want not nose hair yanker. Simply apply the yanker to the unwelcome hairy blockage, and off you go. Whoa there, big guy, don't fight it. Just let it work its magic. Oh, yeah, that's got to feel good. And hey, don't waste all that lovely nose hair. Why not have it made into a fancy new hairdo? Waste not, want not. The waste not, want not nose hair yanker. 105 grots. Stocks limited. Welcome back to fifi fo yum I hope the teams, you were paying attention to those commercials because I'm going to ask you some questions on them. Give me a correct answer, I will give you a two-second lifeline. Currently, the Shepherd's Bush Smoothies have a five-second lifeline. Oh. <laughs> and the Highgate Hot Dogs have a ten-second lifeline. No. <laughs> but there's a possible ten seconds up for grabs as we play... Add analysis. Fingers on your buzzers as I give you your starter for two. In the Medi Mallet sore throat ad, which type of musical note was the giant struggling to sing? Shepherd's Bush smoothies. Yes. High note. Was it the high note? Let's have a look. If a sore throat is preventing you from hitting those high notes... Yes, you're right. Well done. First two seconds to you. Question two. At what angle should the Medi Mallet be held? High gate, hot dogs. Hot dogs. 45, 45, 45, 45, 45 degrees. degrees. Let's have a look, see if you're right. Simply hold the Medi Mallet at a 45 degree angle. Yes, it is right. Well done, you get two seconds. Never Question lost. three. The giant was advised to apply the mallet firmly to Shepherd's the... Shepherd's Bush smoothies. Smoothies. Nose. Oh, no. Nose. You said nose is not the answer I'm looking for. High what about the dogs. Highgate hot dogs? Head. Was it the head? Let's have a look. And now, apply firmly to the head. Yes, it was! Well done! So, question four. In the waste not what not nose hair yanker ad, what did the giant turn his unwanted nose hair into? Shepherd's Bush smoothies. Hair. Smoothies. Hair. Hair. Let's see. Don't waste all that lovely nose hair. Why not have it made into a fancy new hairdo? Yes, a fancy new hairdo! So we accept that. <laughs> Last question in this round. How much does a waste not, want not nose hair yanker cost? Shepherd's Bush smoothies. The smoothies oh, again? 305 pounds. Pa mm. um, 109 grots. 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 Can I have your final answer? Yeah. 105 oh. grots. Oh. 105 grots. Let's see if you're right. Yes, you got there. Well done. You have a two-second lifeline there. So, at the end of that round, Shepherd's Bush smoothies, you got three right, which is oh, six seconds. God. Well done. Highgate hot dogs, you got two right, which is four seconds. 
How will that affect your overall lifelines? Let's find out after the weather from Windy uh. Wind. Here's Giant Television's latest forecast, brought to you by Bot Buster Beans, loved by giants everywhere. Hello there. This is Windy Wendy Weather Vane with your GTV weather. Now, I don't wish to spread panic or alarm, but a hurricane is on the way. I repeat, a hurricane is on the way. I won't lie to you. This is going to be very unpleasant. Here it comes. <laughs> Weather. I beg your pardon. I would want you to see me with this on my face, Wendy, my sweet. Zip blitzer, work your magic. Welcome back to Game 5 Oh, Brian, do you mind? Things are getting serious down here, and that is seriously disgusting. Oh, sorry, Des. Oh, actually works. No. Oh. This is down to you, teams. Brian's not picking anymore. He's already picked. So you must decide who's going to take on the great escape. <laughs> this is really important. Remember, Brian will be eating one of the teams at the end of the show. Yummy, so, yummy, just like yummy. a butcher's in giant land, the stakes are high. Yes, this yes, is really important. OK, teams, out of your huddles, I need to know who's playing. So, yes. Shepherd's Bush Smoothies, who's playing for you and why? We've chosen Annabelle because she's the fastest runner of us and she's going to race us to freedom. <laughs> Annabelle, are you up to that challenge? Yeah, I'm confident that we're going to get our freedom and they're going to get eaten. Whoa, OK. So, the Highgate Hot Dogs, who's playing for you and why? Sharuk, because he has brains, agility and passion, and we know he's going to win our freedom. Sharuk, is that right? Yeah, I'm confident we can win. <laughs> OK, so, Annabelle and Sharuk, this is it, it's time for... The Great Escape. This is it, Annabelle and Sharuk. Brian has trapped your teammates in the scales of justice and their future hangs literally in the balance. <laughs> it's down to you two to try to release them. But standing between you and them is the great escape. First, you must tackle the donut dash. Then, it's on to the kitchen roll crawl. But watch out for those meatballs. Next, you must take on the rolling pin run, but watch out. Brian's got those tea bags out. Then, you must complete the chop bar challenge to build a walkway to Brian's big bowl. Then, it's up the slippery slope to the rope. The player that gets to the top first must pull the release rope. Only then can your teammates escape down the freedom chute. You don't need me to tell you. The team that's not the winner will be Brian's... Dinner! Yes. So, Shepherd's Bush Smoothies, you have an overall lifeline of 11 seconds. It's good. And you, Highgate Hot Dogs, you have an overall lifeline of 14 seconds. So that's three seconds, Sharuk, as a lead. How do you feel about that? Um, good. You think you can do it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right. And you, Annabelle, do you think you can catch up? Yes. Yes, good. Very firmly said. Yeah. So, Sharuk, you will go on Brian's first whistle, and then, Annabelle, three seconds later, you will go on Brian's second whistle. Good luck. Brian, it's over to you. <laughs> Sharuk is off and into the donut dash. Whoa, very quickly. But Annabelle is just behind him and catching up. Sharuk had a little stumble, but he got through, and he's through the kitchen roll crawl, but so is Annabelle. Oh, Sharuk! You're no good at this. Sharuk's caught up that three seconds, and he's already across and on to the chunk bar challenge. Sharuk's trying to get across. He's managed it. Whoa, what a great little run there. This is anybody's game. This is complicated, though, when you get to the chop bar challenge, working out how it works. Remember, you 
must get this jigsaw together to get into Brian's big bowl. That will provide you with the walkway, the bridge across into the blancmange. And it's quite close. I'm starving, Dave. Gotta have my five a day. And it looks like Charlotte's just one piece away. And then Annabelle's only two away. Charlotte's nearly completed. It must be complete. There you go. You're up and you're in. To the bowl of the very carefully well done, Charlie. Yes, we need to get And Annabelle's just behind him. Oh, and she's got very, very messy on the hand, so that will be quite a hindrance for her to get up this slippery slope. But Charlie's in exactly the same boat, or in the same bunch. Smoothies versus hot dogs, and it is anybody's game. Brian doesn't mind who he eats. He doesn't mind if it's smoothies, he doesn't mind if it's hot dogs. He likes them both. <laughs> Where else do you see action like this? Only on B5, Bobby Yum and Annabelle falling in again. Hot dogs and smoothies. It looks like the smoothies just have the slippery slope in their grasp. It looks like Annabelle might make it to the top before the hot dogs, before Shadows makes it. Is she gonna do it? But Sharuk is just behind. Brian's licking his lips. It might be smoothies. It might be hot dogs. Wait a minute! They're both there! They're both pulled exactly at the same time! Which means it's a draw! And it means that everybody's getting away! Oh, you're going to be both! No! Brian's going without any supper today! <laughs> Supper, but he's going to be hungrier than ever next time. So join us when one of our two teams of few munchies may or may not end up in his tub. <laughs> oh. See you then. Say goodbye, Brian. Oh, maybe I could have you for dinner tonight, Les. D don't even think about oh. it. <laughs> oh, not bad. We have a lot of laughs here at CBBC, don't we, Hacker? We sure do. Look, Chris, there's me dancing. Yeah, come and relive some of our funniest moments in the office. Head to the CBBC website and click on Watch to see our favourite clips of CBBC madness. Oh, I'm worn out just watching that, Chris. Oh, I'm all dancey, dancey, dancey. Prepare to be wowed. Prepare to have your mind blown. These crews mean business. All over the UK, our dance crew is hoping to amaze our panel of judges with their street dance skills. All are hoping to be the stars of tomorrow. We'll find out exactly how good these crews are on my brand new show. So check out Alicia's Street Dance Stars, only on CBBC. Today at 5 on the CBBC channel. Deadly on CBBC. Nothing gets you closer to the action. We've got some extraordinary new shows to feed your animal appetite. I'll be counting down to my ultimate hunters in deadly top tens. With new Live and Deadly, we'll be back on the road for more wild weekends. And it's time to go Deadly 360, where I'll be delving beneath the fur and feathers of the planet's deadliest predators. So get ready to get deadly on CBBC. No one gets you closer. Oh, yes. It looks a bit hungry. Why 
mother, you give it a sausage, did he go? Yeah. Would you like a sausage? Huh? Come on, have some su sausage. Never mind. Why don't we give him a name instead? What about... <laughs> Tinsy or Wincy? What about Wobble Chops? Squirt? Squirt? Alien vs. Predator? What about Spanky Flanker? Cradle Cap? Buffalo May? Or just Butch? Ah. Oh, look, lovey. Butch has laid an egg. <laughs> that is not an egg. Diddy, dick and dog. That's true what they say. But money talks. to the sea that's almost it here for friday Ahem. but the fun continues over on the cbbc channel with alicia dixon and her street dance stars what better way to continue your big fab friday get ready for your action-packed non-stop summer full of all the hottest shows on cbbc tis witchcraft <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking sunshine. Hi. I'm thinking sunshine. Yeah. I'm thinking sunshine. Good day. I'm thinking Hi. sunshine. I'm thinking Have a non stop sunshine. summer every day from seven on CBBC. My time is running out. And this is where it begins. One last trip, eh? <laughs> This could be the most exciting thing I've ever seen. Ha-ha! <laughs> it's time. Doctor Who starts Saturday at 10 past 7 on BBC One and BBC One HD.